it going? So, kind of passed out in the parking lot, just sitting here. So he was in the drive -thru. Yeah, he's in, okay. on, car's on. Took me like a few minutes to wake him up. Kept knocking, opened the door, like shook him. Woke up super groggy, got you know, pretty good smell of alcoholic beverage coming out of the car. Eyes are watery, glassy, snorted his words, wasn't really sure where he was. And uh, tell me he had one drink, he said earlier. Standard size, try to say, oh, I think just one drink, but I can smell alcohol, I'm still. And uh, he's trying to tell me, where are you coming from? He said, well, I'm coming from uh, Jones, but I got food. I said, what are you doing here? I got more food. So he's really not too clear, like, that could, I All got right. here, got there. But I mean, so, words. It, so this was a 911 call, right? Yeah, yeah, the drive through called it in. So somebody called because he was in the drive through He just passed out in the car. Passed out in the drive through Yep. Okay. That's and what then I you found just him. had him pull over. To yeah, the side I had him move out of the way. And then when he pulled up, he actually hit over the curb onto the grass and, like, backed it up. Okay. So I, you know, I'm leaving here. He's just going to drive again. Right? Sure, absolutely. All right, let me go talk to him. Right. What's his name? Do you have his ID? Yeah. This is a rental car. He's, he's, uh, he's okay. Hey, Mr. Brooks. Mr. Brooks? How you doing? Hey, I'm Officer Rolf of the Atlanta Police Department. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. All right, so uh, tell me, I wasn't here, so can you tell me what uh, what That's happened it. before we got here? Uh, nothing happened. I just got here and was getting some need. Where are you, where are you coming from? Uh, well, my friend dropped me off here, and you, she she brought me here to get something to eat. And Your friend dropped you off where? Here. At Wendy's? Yes. Okay. So... From was, the home lodge. So where's your friend now? She's at the hotel. What hotel? Oh, uh, right here at the home lodge. Where's that? What's the address to it? I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I know she's here at the home lodge. All right. So how did how did she drop you off here? She drove here and dropped me off. In in what car? In uh, a black Volvo. Okay. Actually. So I, how did this car get here? I mean, it was here before I came. Like, this is my car, it's a rental car, my sister. But, I mean, like I told her, I, I, I came here, I met her here. Okay. From the beginning, and she picked me up, and, I mean, we went out. So we you met her here at the Wendy's? Yes. And then you went out with her? Yes. And, and then she came, came and dropped back you off? here. Okay. And, you know, I mean, like I told her, I'm going to say, hey, babe, you know, I, I just want a burger or I want fries. She said, hey, no problem. I'll take you there. All right. You get your fries and you come back to the hotel. Okay. Said, no so problem. the reason why we're here is because somebody called 911 because you were asleep behind the wheel while you were in the drive-thru, right? You recall that? I don't. I don't. You don't recall that? You don't recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive-thru? Uh-uh. You don't recall that at all. A absolutely, it's complete, I don't. just complete blur. I, I wasn't driving. Like I said, I, I just drank. My uh, girlfriend, she probably was uh, sleeping, but like I said, I said, "Bay, I want French fries." So far as I'm aware, you're the only per person that's been seen in this vehicle, right? Yeah. And you've been in the driver's seat the whole time. So how did the car get into the drive-through line with you behind the wheel? She drove here. I okay. said, babe, I'm drinking you in know, a black with, car. In a black Volvo. Oh, and, and you got into your car. And I said, hey, you know what? No problem. I'll just meet you at the hotel. Okay. And she said, All right. hey, get out. Hold, hold on. So after she drops you off here in her black car, your car was parked where? Here. Okay. So how did your car get from here to the, the drive through line? I, I never moved. So how did it get there? It, it never did get there. I, I told you I was in her car. Well, we've got a 911 call of people reporting a guy passed out behind the wheel in the line. This officer gets here and sees you. Everything's on camera. Sees you in the line. Here in the line. In the well, line. I, was, I wasn't in the line. Did I pull you over in the line? I well, you, up. you had to wake up, man. You didn't in pull the, him right over. Right here? No, it was here. I had to wake you up. Well, look. They went back to sleep and I had to wake up again. Like I said, I, I'm I'm sorry if I Your Honor, I, I just got something to eat. I went to visit my mother's grave site. I'm not causing any problems. Well, we gotta make sure that you're safe to operate a vehicle. Now, do you know where you are? Yeah, absolutely. Where I'm are in you? Forest Park, Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway and Forest the Park. Home Lodge is there. Right right here. Subway. Right. Oh, subway, okay. So it's a subway right here. I'm, I'm I'm cool. Like I said, I could I could. So you you think that you're in Forest Park right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway, Clayton County. Right. No, you're not. 
Well, Farnsport, Georgia. No. Jonesboro, Georgia. No. And try again. I have to. I mean, like I said, I'm on Old DC Highway. Nope. I'm not on Old DC Highway. Nope. Quite a ways away from it. Huh? This is a bridge is here. Nope, no bridge. No, I'm saying Old Dixie Highway. You're not near Old Dixie Highway. I'm not. You're, you're on... not even in Clayton County. Where am I? You're in Atlanta. Yes. Old Dixie Highway. Old Dixie Highway is not Different. in Atlanta. It's Forest Park, Georgia, right? Right. This isn't Forest Park. This is Atlanta. I mean. Anyway, how much have you had to drink today? I drank early. Okay. How much that's, have you had to drink? That's when I had man way drink. Uh, you're not being honest with me. How much did you have to drink? I had one drink. Be honest with me. I Over had... the course of the entire evening, from the time you started drinking until your very last drink, how many drinks did you consume? I had one drink. What kind of drink was it? A margarita. Uh, oh, okay. How big was the margarita? It was just a small cup. A small cup? Yes, right. sir. Have you taken any medication today? No, sir. Any drugs of any kind? No, marijuana, sir. cocaine, nothing like that? No, sir. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects? Hold on, let me finish. Do you have any medical conditions, physical defects, or injuries that would affect your ability to walk, balance, no, I'm, I'm or cool. operate a vehicle safely? I'm okay. Nothing whatsoever? No, sir. No issues I need to know about? No, sir. All right. Uh, can you, could you just take your hat off for me? Just leave it in your car for me. You just leave it in your car. <laughs> can you step out with me, please? Yes, sir. Just walk back here. Do you have any weapons on you or anything like that? I don't have anything on me. Is it okay if I patch you down? Just make sure. If you, I have just money, gas, uh, and that was it. Is it okay if I patch you down to make sure you don't have any weapons? Absolutely. All right, can you just it's turn around, right. face away from me, real quick. Is what is this? Is just a bunch of money in your pocket? No, it's just my wallet. What's what's all this? It, it's just money. Why do you? Ha How much money do you have in your pocket? Um, I mean maybe. A couple hundred bucks. Okay. Just like a bunch of ones and stuff. Here. Yeah, what? absolutely. Can you just walk over here with me, please? This is Wendy's. Yes, this is Wendy's. Yeah, yes. I do remember. <laughs> I mean, you can see the sign, right? Absolutely. All I, right. I, I just came to get something hey, to eat. Uh, you mind just put your phone on the trunk of your car? I don't want you to have anything in your hands. All right. All right, so no medical conditions, no, no injuries, no, no physical sir. defects. No, Are you comfortable sir. walking in these shoes? Absolutely. Well, they're brand new. I just bought them. Can you walk in them without falling, stumbling, anything like that? Um, Staggering. You walk in them okay? I just bought them. Can you walk in them okay? I mean. You don't have to, to show me. I'm just asking. <laughs> are you comfortable walking in the shoes? I mean, I, they are comfortable, but. Uh, I just like to do some field sobriety tests. And if you'd like, if you'd prefer, you can keep them on. If you're more comfortable with it, you can take them off. I, I hadn't been, like I said, I hadn't been operating this vehicle. Yeah, you have. All right, so. You know, so she she came here. I, I got in the car. She parked. I have no problem. Like I said, I was just trying to get me something to eat. Okay. And go back to my hotel. All right, well, I mean, we have a police officer that actually personally witnessed you operating the vehicle. So we know you're operating the vehicle. All right, but are you comfortable walking in the shoes? Absolutely, sir. All right, will you do some field sobriety tests for me? Um, so I, I can mean, make sure you're safe to operate the vehicle. What 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 should I what should I do, sir? Well, first off, I just want to know you're comfortable walking in the shoes. You don't have to do all that. Just it's just yes or no. Can you walk in the shoes while yes, falling? Sir. Okay, yes, very sir. good. All right, just turn, face me. Put your feet together with your hands down by your side. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Yes, sir. All right. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger and follow it with your eyes without moving your head. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right. Don't move your head. Keep your head still. Follow it with just your eyes. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right.
Right, I'm going to go down and up, stay focused on the tip of my finger, follow it with just your eyes without moving your hand. All right, back up a little bit. Can you stand where my light is? And then just face my car there. All right, stand with your feet together, hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to, do you understand? I want you to imagine a straight line coming out from your left foot. Take your right foot, put it heel to toe in front of your left foot, just like this. All right, keep your hands by your side, hold that position until I tell you to start. Don't begin until I tell you to, do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, you're going to take a series of nine heel to toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps, you're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted, take a series of small steps to turn yourself around, take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. All right, during the test, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them, keep your hands by your side, and don't stop walking until you complete the test. Do you understand? Yep, absolutely. Do you have any questions about how to perform the test? Um, no, sir. All right, here, get back in that starting position, put your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. Right foot heel to toe in front of your left. No, your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. There you go. How was that first? Well, it was, it was kind of off. All right, so from. These shoes are kind of long. All right, are you comfortable performing the test in those shoes? Yes, sir. If you want, you have the option to take them off. You want to leave them on? Can I take them off? It's up to they're, you. They're brand new. It's up to you. You can take, you can leave them on or you can take them off. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, I'm not sure. I'm brand oh, I'm new. I'm not sure. I can't they're, make... they're brand new, sir. I just put them on. Okay. That... I haven't even drove in them or anything. But... It's up to you. Whether you want... All right, you want to do it with them on? Yes. All right. If you understand the, the, all the instructions, you have no questions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. You said, re repeat that again for me for the sobriety. You want me to demonstrate it again? Yes, sir. All right, hold that position. Don't begin until I tell you to. Watch me while I demonstrate, okay? Keep your hands by your side. You're going to take a series of nine heel-to-toe steps, counting them out loud. One, two, three. I took three steps. You're going to go all the way to nine. When you get to nine, leave your lead foot planted. Take a series of small steps to turn yourself around. Take nine more heel to toe steps. One, two, three, all the way until nine. While you're doing that, look down at your feet, keep your hands by your side, count your steps out loud so that I can hear them, and don't stop walking until you complete the test. You understand? Start with my. Uh, you're going to start in that starting position with your right foot heel to toe in front of your left. All right. Do you have any questions about how to perform the test? Yes, sir. All right. If you understand all the instructions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. One, two, Three. Four. Turn around. Incorrect number of steps. Nine. One. Miss. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right. Well, we're busy. They're going to have to call. All right. Just, here, stand right there. Just face my car again. Yes, sir. Put your feet together. Hands down by your side. Don't start anything until I tell you to. You're going to pick whichever foot you're most comfortable with. Raise that foot approximately six inches above the ground, keeping both legs straight and your foot parallel to the ground. Look at your toe and count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. While you're doing that, keep your hands by your side. Focus on your toe and count out loud as I instructed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, do you have any questions about how to perform the test? Two feet up, count out, out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and two feet stop. Correct. All right, do you have any questions about anything I demonstrated or how to perform the test? No, sir. All right, if you understand all the instructions clearly, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015.
touch. Pick it up, keep going. 1,016, 1,017. All right, you stop. All right. On a scale from one to 10, with one being completely sober and 10 being very impaired, how do you feel right now? I feel kind of good, sir. I feel, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a knowledgeable of everything that's going on. And like I said, I mean, if I just came to get something to eat, you know, and I have people that verify, they, they made their order. I'm here right at the hotel home lodge and, you know, it's probably about, I mean, two minutes away from here. All right. did, did you understand what I asked you? Did you understand the question? Repeat it again for me. On a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being completely sober and 10 being very impaired, how do you feel? I'm 10. I'm very impaired. You feel very impaired? Absolutely. I'm, I'm okay. I can I can do whatever. Like I said, I can I can, I can make it happen, sir. I, 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 don't, I don't think that means what you think it means. So, 1 being completely sober, haven't drank anything, and 10 being hammered drunk, how do you feel? On a scale from one to ten, one. you feel completely sober. I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I just woke you up. Do, you don't feel the effects of the alcohol that you had at whatsoever. Absolutely not. Not I at can, all. I can make it. I can make it wherever I need to be. I'm right here. Like I said, I'm home lodge, sir. The home lodge isn't close to here. It's, it's right behind the home lodge, right here, ain't it? Where do you think you are right now? I'm on Old Dixie Highway. You're not on Old Dixie Highway. Well, I'm not on Old Dixie. What Highway, city do you but, think you're in? She brought me here saying that I was on Jonesboro. So what city are you in? Atlanta. Atlanta? Yes, yes sir. On what road? Um, McDonald Boulevard? No. I mean, Alright, so let's go back. How much have you had to drink? She was drinking. Like I said, she brought me here. I don't know who she is. I don't care who she is. I said, how much have you been drinking? It's a couple. That's one. I had one and a half. That was it. So, is it a couple or is it one or is it one and a half? I put, when I got to the half, I put it away. I said, babe, let's go. I feel, you know, I need to make it home. So and one and a half safe. drinks. Yes, sir. All right. Of what? Um, it was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. Yes. One and a half daiquiris. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So it was just a. It was just a daiquiri. A daiquiri. But, um, nothing else? Nothing else. Only nothing. a daiquiri? Only. You haven't had a margarita or anything? No, no, no. It was just a, um, like the, the green little daiquiri thingy. But like I said, if 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 I cause any... I, I never intend to, you know, bring anybody into problem. I just wanted me a burger. Right. So, but, but no margaritas at all today? No, no, it's just a daiquiri. Just a daiquiri. Yes. All right. So and, Natalie and, White. Right. And you, and you didn't, and you, you haven't, dr you haven't drove your vehicle at all. You, you say you caught me in the right there, right there. I woke you up, and then I said you can move the car, and then you said okay, and then you went back to sleep. Then I opened your door again. I had to shake you, and you woke up, and then I asked you to move the car over there. That's the BP by the Marathon Jonesboro. This is University Avenue. Yes. Very good. This is University Avenue. Yep. My I grew up here. Okay. You know, Natalie White, she's my girlfriend. Okay. She left off. I said, babe, I'm going to get Wendy's and I'm going to go back to where. That's, 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 what I asked you was, have you drove that vehicle? I mean, probably from, from the point of the drive through to here the park okay and how did it get into the drive through she pulled out i pulled out from here where this this red car was i remember this red car so it, out. it got into the drive through because you drove it into the drive through correct i i mean if 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 you caught me in the drive through then i i didn't drive here my Absolutely. question is your vehicle got into the drive-thru because you drove I it there, right? out and drove, you know, said, baby, baby, I need burgers. She said, okay, fine. I'm going home. My said, quest, no, no problem. I, so, just so I understand what happened clearly, your vehicle was in a parking spot. 
Your girlfriend dropped you off, you got into your vehicle, you backed it out, and you pulled it into the drive-thru, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, and then, sir, Mr. Roth. And then what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? I I, I was on the phone calling her. She didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer, she didn't answer. I said, babe, last time I answered. I said, baby, uh, I'm getting burgers and, you know, what's going on? She said, uh, you, you're supposed to get burgers. Just go ahead and get burgers and the phone went dead. Okay. I said, well, um, you don't know your order, you know, whatever the case may be. Just let me know. And the phone went dead. Like I said, I can call her now. Natalie White. She stays right down the road. I have a, a, a parking spot right down the street here. Okay. If I, like I said, if I cause any problems well, or anything. Did you understand the question that I asked you? Yes. What did I ask you? You said, how did it, my car get from the driving spot to the, to the drive? Right. Well, that was the previous question. We established, we, we answered that question. My next question was, what led to you falling asleep behind the wheel? Why did you fall asleep behind the wheel? I fell asleep because... I can't, I can't. I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, "Hey, if she can't get her order, her order together, and you know, I'm not feeling, you know, of tight right now, I should park right here, go to sleep. I'm not feeling, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling right." What do you mean you're not feeling right? She, like do I said, do you think maybe that you had too much to drink? And you realize that you shouldn't drive, so you park? I mean... Would that be accurate to say? Yes, sir. Mr. Roth, yes. All right, so your girlfriend dropped you off. You got into the car. I you backed out. You pulled up. Her. And you're like, damn, I'm too drunk to drive. And so you pull back into the parking spot and park, right? I call her and like, bang. Is that accurate? If, 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 if it's a couple moments I got on the phone with her. Yeah. I'm like, babe, hey, damn, you know, um, you want number one or number two or? But she's like, would babe, you would you agree? You uh, you take care of that. You're a man. You figure out what we're gonna eat tonight. All right, All right. let's move past that. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to drive? I, mean, I can focus, Mr. Roth. I can focus. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to I, drive? I haven't had, you know, to the point where I can't focus. I was a little tired ahead of the day because we just came from North Carolina. Do you think that you're safe to operate a vehicle right Absolutely, now? Absolutely, Mr. Roth. And how much have you had to drink? I had two margar uh, one and a half margaritas, Mr. Roth. One and a half margaritas? Yes, sir. Margaritas? Yes. Have you had anything else today? Any other type of drink? No, sir. You haven't had any daiquiris? I haven't had no daiquiri. I had one and a half little small cups of margarita. But margarita. I can. I'm up now. Y'all got me up with this. Got you up. I'm going now. I got if you. I, if hey, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Uh, what's what's that? It's a little handheld machine. I have you blow into it, and that lets me know if you're uh, positive or negative for the presence of alcohol in your breath. I've I've been drinking. Okay. I I, I do um say that. Okay. But I'm only going a few minutes down the road. Mr. I got you. I'm just asking. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? I mean, I I don't know what it is. I just said it's a little handheld machine. Let's me know if it's positive or, or negative for the presence of alcohol as part of my investigation. You know it is the presence. I've I know. drinking. I know. I can tell. That's just part of my investigation. But it's like just, I it's, said, let's, I, let's, I, let's, I, if I have to park this car right here right now. Hold on. It's, it's just a yes or no. I don't. We don't need to go back and forth about it. It's just a yes or no. But what if I, what if I take this test and I, I don't care about I can walk home. Why I don't have you? to. I don't have to park. Why the would, car's legit. Why would you walk home? Because I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. I can walk. My my sister's house is right here. Do you think that you'd be in violation of something if we if if you were to drive your vehicle? If if you know if that's less possible for me to park here, lock the car up, and do everything that I need to do within the presence of you guys. I can just go home. I have my daughter's there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. All right. Hold on, Mr. Brooks. Just, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Just yes or no. I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I, I will. Okay. Just wait here while I grab it. Mm. 
Take a deep breath in, put your mouth over the mouthpiece, blow as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Blah, 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 stop. Very good. I just had a, a few drinks, that's it. How many? One and a half. Like I said, I was into the second cup. I wasn't even, I told her, babe, let's go because I'm hungry. I what need what to kind eat. of drinks did you have? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something she ordered. She said top shelf or whatever. Top shelf what? I'm not sure. It was. Like I said, it was her birthday, and it was my daughter's birthday intent to, you know, have a good time. And I said, babe, you know, I'm hungry. Let's go. My 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 baby's mom, she was there. I said, babe, go ahead. I'm cool. You know, here's the money for the blow-up bed tomorrow. Here's the money for, you know, to enjoy herself tomorrow. Just, you know, give me a burger or... Or something, uh, right. just take me home. I'm ready to go. So you had about one and a half drinks, but you don't remember what kind of drinks they were? No, sir. All right. I really don't, Mr. Roth. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be dry. So put your hands behind your back for me. Here, put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. everybody this is a uh, food for thought brought to you by prove to me that you're alive i'm not gonna have you know crazy intros and everything like that i will say though huge shout out to the greatest poet of all time so mind your link is in the description and uh right here uh right now real quick we're gonna talk about or not even talk about i'm gonna express how fucking pissed off i am about the whole rayshard brooks um situation i mean even when i know even when I know that this whole shit ever since coronavirus to George Floyd and all of that, I know that it's a huge fucking setup. Just like most of our lives, starting from the schools to the, to the books to the everything, it, it's all been a fucking setup. You know, that's the first thing that I'm going to say, the first food for thought. Everybody, before we get as emotional as I am right now, we have to realize we have been set up, man. We got to realize that this is all a fucking setup. They want us to go crazy. They want for this whole civil war to start. Um, you know, continuous separation and divide further and further. Um, you know, watch my other videos when I explain, you know, there's no such thing as white supremacy and why they got this whole scheme, you know what I'm saying, going on with this whole fucking white supremacy and even Black Lives Matter and everything like that. Um, so I'm not going to get into that right now. I just wanted to express, you know, because I'm going to play you the video of, you know, the, the body cam from the officer that shot Ray Shot Brooks in Atlanta. You know, if anybody doesn't know, 
um, Ray shot, excuse me, was shot in Atlanta just a few days ago. You know, today is what, the 16th of June, I believe it happened, um, the 13th, something like that. Um, shout out to my brother Alpha that's in Atlanta. Now, you know, I've been saying this for a long time. Police are the biggest fucking gang in the world. And I will have a good food for thought for you at, at, at the end of the video. But, you know, as you as you guys can see on the video, if you, and if you're not seen it, you know, watch it already. Rayshard Brooks, the man is drunk. He's obviously drunk. He tries to pull in into the drive-thru at Wendy's in Atlanta, you know, falls asleep behind the wheel. The cops get called. Cops pull up you know and start questioning him now from a police officer to the suspect point of view I guess you can do the shit that you did but you are still a human being right or you pretend to be a human being right I'm talking to the police officers right now and this is not the first case it's been going on forever I know exactly the way police are like I said I've been to jail I've been harassed numerous times. So this is what I'm saying. From a human being perspective, right? You see the police officer. You see that this man is clearly drunk as fuck, right? You see that. Why do you continuously ask him, are you drunk? What have you been drinking? Would you do a breathalyzer? Would you walk? Would you fucking fart? Would you scream? Would you sing? Would you rub your belly? Why? Why are you doing this? You clearly see that the man is drunk. He's drunk as shit, right? He fell asleep at the drive-thru. But he's not being fucking violent. He's not protesting. He's, he's even being extremely polite. Yes, sir. No, sir. Instead of, from a human being perspective again, instead of saying, look, bro, lock up your car. Even though, even though we don't have, nobody has the right to tell you shit, to, t to really tell you shit. But from, again, from a human being perspective, if you truly want to do what you're supposed to do as a police officer, that is protect and serve. And if you really want to protect and serve this human being, and if you really care, if you really want to do your job, then why don't you say, yo, give me the keys, write down your address, Walk your ass home or wherever you got to go. When you are not drunk, you could come and pick them up. He didn't fucking kill nobody. He didn't, he didn't hit nobody. He, he didn't st he wasn't, yo, he was even being extra polite. So what? And plus, you know when they did the whole flashlight shit, like follow the sh flashlight with your, with your eyes. Why was he up in the man's face for that long with that flashlight? Why? Was it really necessary? Again, you can see that the man is obviously drunk as shit. He even told you, I'm drunk. And this happens every single day. This has been going on for years. You know, I wasn't the one that backed up, you know, the looting and all this, all this other shit. Even though, watch my videos, America is burning. Watch my videos, America and America engulfed by white supremacy lies. Part one, part two is still coming out. Watch my videos, white supremacy don't exist. I break everything down, how we have been fucked over, how we have been lied to. And we are being separated and divided further and further. And if we don't fucking wake up. We're all going to be engulfed by, by fires, man. So here's a food for thought. You know why we don't need police? It's because if we all understood the universal law of cause and effect, meaning exactly what you put out is exactly what you get. If you think you are hurting someone and you realize that, in fact, you are hurting yourself, why would, why, would, why would we do anything fucked up? Why would we cause any harm to anybody? But we haven't really been taught that. We've been taught that 
there's there's another man that's higher than you and you supposed to oblige by their laws. That's why all this fucked up shit is going on. I'm sorry, you know, if if you know, I'm sorry I didn't give a disclaimer to to you know that this is going to be an explicit, you know, explicit um language for, for you to move your kids away, but I'm heated right now. I'm heated. This has been going on forever. A human being got shot for nothing. And we see this all the time, even when we see high speed chases. Why are y'all chasing a motherfucker that's drunk, that's going through, you know, the inner city, man, at a buck, you know, 190 miles an hour, possibly killing a lot more people, and you fucking chasing them down? We see this all the time. You you seen that this man was drunk, Rayshard Brooks. You seen that he was drunk. He even told you, officer, I'll walk home. He was ready to walk. Let him walk. Instead, what did you do? You shot a man for nothing. I mean, obviously, it proved to me that you're alive at this channel. We know that nothing is for nothing. Everything has a reason. But let's talk about it on a physical level, on a human being level. So this whole idea with defunding the police doesn't even sound crazy no more. Anyway, man, this is Food for Thought brought to you by Proof to Me They Are Alive. My bad for, you know, screaming at your ear. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to repeat this on and on and on and on. The looting, the burning, even the protesting. Just like my wife says it. It won't solve anything. It hasn't solved anything. We've been trying this for the whole fucking 20th century. Nothing's working. The only way we will win or we will make a change, I'm going to fucking keep repeating this. If we actually claim our power back instead of giving them the power, create our own jobs, our own stores, our own internet, our everything. Grow our own food. Have teach our own kids instead of sending them to the fucking school that takes a half of their life away, quarter of a quarter of their life away, by and brainwashes them. Anyway, man, come on, man. Proof to me, dear, food for thought. Brought to you by Proof to Me, dear, alive. I love all of you. Again, go check out the the, the most dopest poetry you ever read. Uh, <laughs> book uh, Journey Inside is out soon. Uno, you.